What's going on guys? Uh, Brendan here. I'm super excited to show you guys kind of this video. We're actually going to be doing my dad's floor with Swiss tracks and um, before we actually laid the floor we did a lot of garage organization um, and in the next clip you'll see that you know we're actually we hung a lot more shelving just to get stuff kind of off the floor so you had a little more usable floor space or things didn't feel quite as cramped and you know the beauty about the Swiss track system is you know it's so much more functional than you know painted concrete or epoxy concrete you know I've seen guys that have actually scratched their epoxy flooring and it ends up being quite a mess there's a lot of prep it's actually quite um, costly when you think about the functionality and versatility of the flooring um, but the beauty is is the Swiss tracks hardly ever looks dirty you never have to sweep it we might vacuum it once a year water flows underneath it doesn't just pool on top of the floor because there's actually channels so if you park your dailies especially in winter in Canada um, if you park your daily cars in the garage then water doesn't just pool up as ice melts off the garage it, it kind of starts to flow underneath the tracks or underneath the flooring which then you're not always constantly standing and walking through water which I absolutely like um, so again I think it's a lot more functional than kind of these other solutions and you know if you move you take it with you if you wreck a, a tile pop it out put a new one in you know like it's you're not stuck to well, it was epoxy and I scratched it and I got to get someone to come over here and, and I don't even know if they, it, it's pretty hard just to repair a section. Nevertheless, here's the garage before, okay, the flooring. And at one point we had a bunch of carpeted tiles uh, just to make it look a little more showroomy. Those didn't last. They get dirty really quickly. Um, they look worn. And so when the Swiss tracks come um, or came, we went with the slate gray and an orange border, which looks really, really clean. Um, personally, I like, yeah, more of a subtle color with something that pops a little bit more. Um, but really what we wanna do is get the first two rows kind of lined up with the garage door. Once that's done, we can position it and get it squared off where we want to. And then we can continue moving forward with the install. Now something to note, my battery actually died and I didn't have a charger for the camera when we were doing the edges. Now laying the floor itself, quick, really quick, like do it in two hours kind of thing. It's the edges where you have to cut the tiles that take some time. So the system that we ended up using, you can go to like a Home Depot and we rented a guillotine um, tile cutter, a 20 inch wide tile cutter, which they had, I think it was like $50 uh, for the day and we just have one guy measure where to cut on the tile, one guy cutting the tile, and that probably took two hours. So in total, it took about four hours. Again, majority of that time comes from actually cutting the tile. Um, yeah, and you just kind of start from one edge and work your way over, and it goes, again, really quickly, um, and it's super exciting as the floor starts to come together because, man, what a difference. And then obviously, right as you go, you're gonna be moving toolboxes or cabinets or whatever you have going on in your garage um, to get to the next section. You know, we do a quick vacuum. You know, there's really no need to mop the floor and really clean and scrub the floor because you can't see it underneath, right? So um, even cracks, things like that, it hides all of that. So the prep work is really nothing. A quick vacuum or sweep, that's about all you need to do, okay guys? Um, you can do more if you want, but there really isn't a need to do more. And so here's kind of before again, I just want to, <laughs> the difference is night and day. Okay, so that's before the Swiss tracks. And then after the Swiss tracks, yeah, it doesn't get much better than that, man. Here we go. Look at the floor. It's unreal. Even the edges really clean. You could put like a floorboard or a, a, a molding on the bottom edge um, to hide that edge if you don't have really clean edge cuts but our edge cuts were really clean and our edges looked really really good um, but yeah man it we're gonna bring that orange line up at the front of the garage one more tile so we'll have to order two orange tiles man but I mean it just looks great so if you guys are you know looking 
for Swiss tracks interested in Swiss tracks, um, definitely uh, you know visit our website chinookauto.ca and uh, if you guys are doing some bigger projects, commercial projects, you know, send me an email. Sometimes we can work out better pricing. We also have great garage flooring. Um, so if you guys have been thinking about doing this or if you're maybe closer to Christmas time, you know, um, it's a spouse watching and, you know, this is a great, great, great gift um, as well. But man, this, this flooring to do this whole floor is maybe $2,500 seems expensive, but really when you compare it to other alternatives on the market um, and how functional it is, I mean, I haven't talked to anybody that's purchased the flooring from us that's actually regretted the purchase. They absolutely love the flooring. And we're going to be doing my flooring soon, but right now I have a 92 F-150 just torn apart in there, so it's very tough to clear everything out. Um, once that restoration is done 100% absolutely um, we'll be doing my full garage and I'm super stoked to do it and I can't wait so if you guys have questions let me know um, but that is the Swiss Tracks flooring install